Espino with a very slow walk to the ring. Miguel will bring a record of 22 and one into the ring. Ranked number three by the WBC. Ladies and gentlemen, from Youngstown, Ohio, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue with white, official weight 159 pounds, 23 fights, 20 victories, including nine knockouts in his professional career with only two defeats and one draw. From Los Angeles, California, North Hollywood to be exact, the WBC number three ranked middleweight contender in the world, the challenger, Miguel Angel Espino. And his opponent, Across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black with red letters, official weight, 160 pounds. His overall professional record stands at 35 and one. But as a middleweight, he is perfect. Undefeated in 34 fights, with 34 victories, including 31 knockouts. From Youngstown, Ohio, the reigning, defending, WBC, WBO, middleweight, Champion of the world, Kelly, the ghost, Pavlik. Look to the body right there by Pavlik as well. You don't see this much really good body punching by both fighters in one round. I'll tell you one thing, Marco Antonio Rubio, when he came to Youngstown, got in the ring with Pavlik and just froze, just froze up, didn't do anything. But that is not the case. Miguel Espino came out to bring the fight to Kelly Pavlik. And what he's doing is bringing the fight out of Kelly Pavlik. Yes. Very well. Well put. Great uppercut on the inside by Pavlik. No, and Espino won't give you angles. And that's good for Kelly Pavlik. That's what gives him issues. The fighter's in front of him. He's happy. Now Espino with a four punch combination and digging a left hook to the body and Espino bouncing back here with a combination of his own. Excellent combination there from Pavlik, right hand to the body, right uppercut. However long this fight's last, last if it's fought this way, it'll be a lot of fun to watch. Left hook by Pavlik. And Pavlik has, I don't know if it's a cut or some red, a red cheek already on the, on the right side. I'm not sure if it's a cut. A sizzling first round of this oh, middleweight oh, championship oh, fight. Oh, Wow, they want to go out after the round. Yeah, there's some blood. I like that. I One like point. that. I like his pillow getting underneath the skin of, of family. I will alert you to the fact that at the end of the round, Steve Smoger, the referee, deducted one point from Miguel Espino for the late shot at the end of the round. Smoger was quite angry with uh, those tactics at the end. And Steve Smoger, and Steve Smoger is one of the best referees in boxing. So if he did it, he felt he had a reason for it. And he is uh, familiar, by the way, with Pavlik. He's worked two of Pavlik's stay very up, biggest fights, the Edison Miranda fight, and then the Jermaine Taylor fight, in which the first fight in which Pavlik won the world championship. Now, Jack Lowe gave good advice to Kelly Pavlik, which he's not following now. He said, you don't have to be macho man with him. Step to the side and use angles. You don't have to lay right in front of Espino. And Espino listening to John Gray, he said, get your hands going, and he is, but a lot of those are low. And he's hitting the lot to the leg, which is obviously frustrating Pavlik and his corner people. Steve Smoger was right, though. Many of those punches were low by Espino. I know he wants to go to the body, but they were low. But for Espino, it's a good point because he's making a statement. He said, I'm here to fight. And not only that, Al, he is going wow. right back to the body, but now Pavlik gives it right to the body. Oh, oh 
We have witnessed two red hot rounds here in Youngstown, Ohio. It's 20 degrees outside, considerably hotter inside that ring. Don't punch. Stay behind the head. Gennaro, stylistically, what do you think of what Espino is doing here tonight? He's working very well inside, trying to pressure the fight, maybe trying to see if the layoff won a fake public, I believe. And maybe he can actually see whether his hand will be injured or not. Body shots low, low shots to the leg, good combinations. Of course, obviously, Pavlik is bobbing and weaving most of them. You know, Kelly Pavlik doesn't have to take any of these punches. It's really interesting. Kelly Pavlik from the outside is a monster with the jab and the straight right hand. That's how he made his name. Look at him right there. But he wants to fight on the inside with Espino. And now he bloodied Espino's nose. When he goes on the Green outside. Right. Miguel Espino screen left. And now facing the camera. And these two have been shoulder to shoulder with, in most of this bout. Good. Beautiful uppercut. uppercut. And that knocked down Espino. A delayed reaction knocked down and a beautiful right uppercut oh. by Kelly Pavlik. Seven, Seven eight, eight, nine, and he barely beats the count. Doesn't look like he's, he doesn't look like he's ready to go. He's hurt. Crowd urging on Pavlik. Espino trying to fight back. You know, that, that's something that's wrong with a lot of fighters. They get hurt and they right away they go to, to try to attack and try to prove to another fighter that they're not hurt. But you know what? That's a dangerous move. And instead of utilizing the movement and using, utilizing his big ring that he has, he went straight ahead. Pavlik is actually looking here and actually trying to pinpoint Espino. And Miguel, full of courage, fighting back, taking another hard blow. And Pedro going down, and he does. The second knockdown of the round. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Up at the count of nine. Two knockdowns in the round. Still nearly a full minute to go. And look what he's doing. He goes right up. He's up at Spino, who comes firing back himself. You know, Spino's punch is not that effective, but just the fact that he's throwing flurries is amazing. He's down again. Down again. Down again. Third and maybe the final time. Again, the uppercut oh. started that. This time he gets up before the count of nine. Seven, eight. John Bray is trying to stop the fight in the corner. He's come up onto the ring apron. So Smoker, I believe, is going to step You're in and stop the fight. You're out of it. Done. Done. Oh, over. Done. It's a good thing. I mean, you have a, an intelligent corner there. The fighting pride of Youngstown, Ohio, still middleweight champion of the world, Kelly the Ghost.